The Census Bureau has long maintained frame-like data to support census and survey operations. When we say frame, we refer to a collection of data sets organized around one of four foundational units that form the basis for much of the work we do here at the Census Bureau to provide quality data on addresses, businesses, jobs, and people. Although each frame tends to store a subset of unique information, overlaps and linkages do exist. The Frames program will enable us to leverage known overlaps in the data sets to develop new enterprise-wide frames, linkable in nature, using best practices in terms of technology uses, data management, and methodology. By linkable in nature, we mean that each frame will include the necessary unique identifiers for linkage to other frames. Let's briefly explore this idea looking first at a geospatial frame and using a building as an example. The geospatial frame contains the address for a building, which may be commercial or residential. But from external appearances, it's not always clear. When we look into the business frame, we see that there's a business at the location with a North American Industrial Classification Series code that identifies it as a skilled nursing facility. So from this information, we know that there's definitely a business use but the fact that it's a nursing facility suggests there might be a residential component as well, but we can't be certain yet. When we take a look at the job frame, it indicates there are workers associated with the location, which adds another layer to our knowledge about this location. Looking at the demographic frame, it contains records for multiple individuals residing at this address. After observing the demographic characteristics of those living at this address, we might conclude that it is a group quarters or GQ. But to be sure, we need to know even more. By linking frames data to other sources of information about the location, we can see that publicly available property and tax assessor data lists the location as a commercial enterprise, providing a home for the elderly. And the facility's website tells us the facility offers both assisted living and 24-hour memory care. So by linking these sources, we can quickly gain a full picture of the nature of a particular location. In this case, a group quarters facility housing the elderly. Utilizing data that we already have available to us, and thus avoiding the need to visit in the field or contact the building owner or occupants through other means. Now that we're sure the location is a group quarters, we can make decisions about enumeration and follow-up, since the demographic frame contains information about the residents. While the data within the frames will only be accessible directly by Census Bureau staff and projects, here are some of the many ways that our stakeholders and outside users will benefit from the new and improved frames program. With linked frames, data currently collected by multiple teams using multiple methods can be centralized and streamlined. New linking methods and curated subject matter expertise will enable exploration of more complex and broadly scoped research questions that will support innovative thinking around how we use data to answer critical questions more efficiently about the nation's people and economy. Data analysis will be simplified, repeatable, and more robust with access to the data across all four frames. Data linkages will help reduce duplication in effort and allow Census Bureau analysts and product creators to directly pull needed data in fewer steps. Accessing the enterprise frames will help reduce respondent burden by reusing existing Census Bureau data. And finally, our data will be more targeted, allowing survey methodologists to select more targeted samples. The Frames program is an important addition to the Census Bureau's ongoing modernization effort in developing a data-centric business ecosystem.